Good morning and welcome to the youth message portion of the service. Do you suffer from one more thing itis? Perhaps you struggle with in a minute oleo. As troubling as these ailments are, neither is contagious. These common afflictions emerge when changing from one new activity to another or from one responsibility to another. Common symptoms include squishing one small task under the false belief that it will only take you 30 seconds, quickly reading that next chapter just to see how it all turns out, running back upstairs as you're leaving to get that one item you just might need, or sending a message and then getting a reply and then sending another message all while you're being called to do Well, you can fill in the blank. With so many things calling our attention, it can be really hard to resist one more thing itis or in a minute oleo. And people have been doing it since Bible times. Today's reading from Luke chapter 9 verses 57 to 62, we see that Jesus encounters many people who want to follow him. And Jesus says, okay, let's go. And then one more thing itis and in a minute oleo happens as yet they ask Jesus to wait just a moment so they can take care of, well, all of the examples that were in scripture. The question is, what or who comes first? What is your priority at the beginning, the middle, and the end of the day? When we follow Jesus, we are asked to put him first and to have faith that God will provide. As a faithful believer, the future, it may have some difficult experiences, yet loving and following Jesus keeps our focus on the promise of our future and not looking back to the past. So the next time you feel a case of one more thingitis or in a minute oleo coming on, remember, Jesus is the vaccine when we focus on him first. Until next week, God remembers you, God hears your prayers, and God loves you very much.